Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Callan LF, the host of the brand new Fire Lord Report. Now, you might be wondering why Galator's not here, because previous things have said that Galator was going to be restarting the Galator report. But I can assure you those were technical errors, and in all reality, Galator is not wanting to do the show at all. He actually told me firsthand that the show is dead to him, and he's much happier not doing it. Sorry, dry up your tears. Let's start with the next episode. No! G Galator? Impossible! I thought you were- Tied up in the closet? You were right for a while, but you forgot to confiscate my phone, which I was able to use to text Costi my location. Yeah, took him forever. It's a good thing I was able to understand that text. It was very messy. Well, it seems I've been caught red-handed. What are you gonna do now? What I should have done a long time ago. Start back up the Galator report right here on your own channel! Oh, phew. For a second there, I thought you were gonna- <laughs> Oh! Roll the intro! Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Galt Report, and I'm your host. You should know my name by the title, of course. Our first news story is in response to the announcement made by the Matorum producer Ganon, famous for his hit comedy, Misadventure of Onipex and Pals. Roll the tape! I'm here to confirm that the Misadventures of Onipex and Pals is officially changing channels from the popular IDS 561 channel to a brand new one called the IDS Studios. That'll be all for now. This announcement was issued two or three weeks ago, and Gan's new channel is already airing the original Misadventures, as well as a couple new side shorts starring the new characters to the show. Well, this is all in good. Many of us are wondering why exactly Gan has switched to this new channel in the first place, as well as what is he going to do with the old one? Here to answer these questions is Ganon himself. Thank you for joining us on the show today, Ganon. Uh, is that really you? Why, yes it is. I tried this new look out a week or so ago and I really like it. Do you like it? Oh, sure. It's very, uh, yellowy. <coughs> uh, now, for the real questions. Why did you decide to switch channels in the first place? Well, you see, I discovered that there was a new production company that could help improve the show, but they told me I couldn't partner with my old channel. Something wrong with the AdSense. They told me if I made a new channel and got 5,000 views on my episodes, they would partner with me. Despite all the followers my old channel had, I couldn't let go of this opportunity. And that's why the new channel was made. Sounds like a good offer. You mentioned that your old channel had a lot of followers. How's your attempts to get them to move to your new channel? Pretty good, actually. That's part of why I've been making these new shorts starring three new Pomatoran. The actors are great and quick to help out, but I'm glad to say with the resurfacing of our Bionicle the Act of Veronapex, I'll be able to continue making real episodes. In fact, the finale to the camera miniseries should be coming out soon. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it, man. Now, for the final question. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Uh, woodchuck could chuck morning wood. I see. Thanks again for joining us on the show, Mr. Gannon. Thanks for having me. And if you're watching this right now, make sure to subscribe to Gannon's new channel for new shorts, as well as the upcoming episode, The Camera, Part 4. Now... Let's look at our latest news coverage from our live reporter, Kasi. So, how are things going down there in Takoro, Kasi? Well, Galator, a huge commotion has started over the results of the Garkoro and Takoro's big Koli match. Apparently, Gully's well-trained team was about to score and tie up the game when a flashing light blinded them, making them drop the ball right before the clock timed out. Tobagali accused Takoro enthusiast Takanuva Toa of Light for cheating with his elemental power to help the team he formerly played for win. Toa Tahu of Takoro defends Takanuva against Kali's claims, although evidence has shown Takanuva to be in the audience during the game. Quite an interesting argument here, although I think I'm leaning toward Gali's story on this one. What's Takanuva's side of the story? Well, you can find out right now. Just ask him. I managed to get him away from all the press so he could answer some of our own questions. Just uh, one sec. I've got to get out the really big mic. Ah, there we go. Hello, Kossi. Galator. I am Takanuva. Toa of Light! It's great to talk to you, Mr. Takanuva. I just wish that this was under better circumstances. So, can you tell us exactly what happened during the final seconds of the Kohli match? I'd be glad to. Well, now that I'm tight in size, it's been rather difficult getting into the Takoro Stadium to watch my favorite sport. Tahu's promised me a seat, which will be made for me soon, but other priorities have been needed to be attended to, and I've been a little disappointed that I haven't been able to sit in the stadium and watch this epic game in comfort. As a result, I had to hang on the outside wall of the stadium and uh, struggle to watch the game. And things didn't get much better when some clouds came over my head and made things even harder to see. Frustrated, I used my light powers to try and brighten up my view. 
I guess it caused Gakaro to lose the game. That's quite a shame to hear, but I'm glad you weren't just trying to help your team win. <laughs> oh, come on, Galator. I'd never cheat to help my own team win. That'd be totally unfair, and I'd never be able to forgive myself for it. You know, I was watching the game myself. Pretty good game. Uh, but I could have sworn you were directed into the audience. You know, sit up in those empty seats there were. Oh, well, I guess I did get a little bit of help uh, throughout the game. You would have been very well situated by the end of the game, wouldn't you? Well, yes, but the clouds, uh, um, uh, you know, you know what? Uh, I forgot that, uh, the thing I was, uh, supposed to do today. Th thank you for, uh, <coughs> having me, uh, uh, bye. Hey, wait! Uh, get to ask all my questions. Well, looks like Gally may be right, Galator, but it is a little too early to make incomplete assumptions. Indeed, I'm pretty sure Gally is right. And don't start talking about that secret crush I have on our- Wait, is, is Gally watching this? Oh, crap. <clears throat> uh, indeed, perhaps this disagreement will be solved by the next episode. Thanks for joining us today, Kasi. Thank you, Yalato. Hey guys, this is KalanLF. Here to thank you for watching, as well as to say I'm sorry to Galtor because he, he had a message that he wanted me to put at the end of the video, but it was a bit long, so we're just going to make a separate video with the message in a blooper reel. So, uh, look forward to that, or don't. Uh, and feel free to subscribe and comment and rate, or don't, whatever you feel like doing, because you're yourself and you should do whatever you want to do. So, I'm going to go now. Bye, peoples.